now in this video we will cover the zip command okay so basically uh, as you are aware of zip like we zip files to compress the size of that particular directory or particular file which we use okay suppose you want to transfer a file of 500 mb to your friend okay but uh, uh, you want to compress that file and after that you want to send it to that to your friend so when you zip that file so the size will be automatically decrease okay so that's why we use the zip command so basically in the linux we will use the zip command okay for uh, zipping the files and directories okay but in uh, windows uh, you use uh, that particular gui to zip the files okay so now in this video what we are going to do we will first of all create uh, one directory mkdi zip and let's move into this directory here also maybe zip has been created yes here it is now what we will do I will create multiple files uh, 1.txt, 2.txt, 3.txt okay so basically on a, in a simple way how you can zip file without any option so this is a, a just simple like you zip and the file name which you want to give to that particular uh, zip file so I am giving it the file.zip and the particular files which you want to which you want to add in that particular zip file okay so now what we can do uh, i will just hit uh, enter and here you can see file.zip has been created now in this uh, particular uh, zip file you can see one.txt has been added okay so but what if uh, you want to add multiple files okay if you want to add multi multiple files in your uh, that particular this zipper so how you can do it so for this uh, what you will do i am i'm going to create another zip file zip file 2 dot zip 1 dot txt 2 dot txt 3 dot txt and uh, again here you can see file 2 dot zip in this we will get uh, actually three files okay 1 2 3 dot txt we are getting here so this is the way of zipping multiple files together okay in a particular uh, zip file in which you want so now what we are going to do i am again going to create uh, some more files touch 4.txt 5.txt 6.txt okay so now what i want to do i am going to zip uh, 4.txt in file 3.zip file okay so the option is uh, one of the option of the zip command is hyphen u option which we can use to like uh, uh, add some other files in that particular zip file uh, it means uh, like uh, in the file 3 dot zip right now we have only 4 dot txt okay so what i'm going to do i will add 5 and 6 also without tampering 4 so the there is a hyphen u option in the zip command uh, okay which we can use to perform that particular action so i'm going to add here 5.txt and also 6.txt and now i will open up this uh, zip file and here you can see 456 has been added okay so we will cover unzip in next video uh, that's why i'm going i'm showing you like this okay that's why i'm not unzipping it with the cmd okay so in this way you can add uh, other files also and one more option is there like uh, hyphen m option so what it does it's basically like it will zip the file and it will also delete that particular file sometimes in case uh, you don't want to uh, like uh, what we can say keep that particular file okay in your uh, disk or to save your space or something like that we you can think of it so how we can do it uh, like here is ls we i'm going to do and here is uh, six dot till 1 to 6 dot txt is file now what i'm going to do zip hyphen m i will use 5 4 dot zip and i will add suppose 4 dot txt 5 dot 6 dot txt hit enter adding all those things and here you can see all the 4 to 6 dot txt file has been deleted and here in the file 4 dot zip we will get the 4 5 6 dot txt files so using hyphen we you can uh, like uh, zip that all files and also 
uh, you can delete that files to save your space hamilton so you will not need to delete that file after the zipping of all that things okay so now moving forward what we can do so uh, suppose if you have other directories also like uh, with 30 xt files you have some other directory so how you can do it how you can zip that also so you can do that in a recursive manner uh, like using hyphen r option so first of all what i'm going to do i will just create uh, some other directories like let's create test okay i have created test directory and uh, you have to uh, like uh, what you can say you have to add uh, one to three dot txt files also and also test uh, directory in one zip file how you can do it you have to just use hyphen r option so hyphen r option what it does it basically work as a recursive manner like it will uh, uh, zip your directory and also files which you you will use so let's uh, give it a name as dir.zip and then what we can do 1.txt 2.txt 3.txt and the name of the file not file directory enter and uh, where it is dir.zip and here you can see all of your files has been added into that particular zip file okay so in this way you can uh, add some other like more than files and directories in one zip file using a single command or using hyphen r option mostly it happens mostly we use it in uh, like uh, in our uh, window system like we have multiple files in one directory is also some other directory so you can basically like use it in this case and one more important thing the and the last one the last option which we will see together is hyphen e option okay it basically stands for encrypt so what it does uh, well, let me like what I will do I will add this one dot txt file into one zip file with a password okay basically it will create a zip file with a password so how you can do it zip I will write password dot zip into one dot txt like one dot txt i want to zip into this particular file password dot zip i will use hyphen e option and here it will ask for me to enter the password which you want i will use something okay ayush and here you can see adding one dot txt stored in that particular zip file so where it is uh, this one password dot zip okay let me open it uh, yeah and now here one dot txt and like has you can see here log type also like uh, it will me like prompt me to enter the password now i will enter and here you can see one dot txt has been unlocked as there is nothing so it's showing like nothing here okay we have not written anything in that one dot txt file okay so uh, that's all for today uh, i hope you got it how you can zip files uh, and also how uh, you can zip multiple files together in a single uh, file with the uh, hyphen e option like if you want uh, to like protect uh, or zip some sensitive files and you have to send it to some other person you don't want to disclose that particular file so you can easily use hyphen e option also in that case so that's all for today